All right, it's your boy Rick Muhammad. I'm live here. This is Brawler Sports Media. We live here in Huntington, New York at the Paramount venue. Tonight's Rock and Fights number 30, Joe DeGuardia, Star Boxing, and Real Deal, which is Holyfield's uh, promotion company. I'm in the locker room right now with my man, uh, King Dawson, uh, King Lawson. So we want to know about King Lawson. Who are you? Where you from? How long you been in the fight game? And what's going to happen here tonight? I'm going to do my thing tonight. You know what I mean, I'm from Philly, straight out of Philly. And I've been boxing about 10 years. 10, yeah. North Philly? You from North Philly? Mm -hmm. So you, you, you know ABC Rec Center? That's him right there. Big them. I, I That's him right David there. I used to work for David Reed and Al Mitchell and them. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Fred. <laughs> What's up, Fred? Oh, man, small world. I know it, but Mike, my man Mike Garrison. Yeah, yeah. So you you been fighting for about ten years. My man Fred Jenkins here training you, so you with one of the best. I'm a, I'm a sister trainer. What's your What's your name? Happy Hollow. Happy Hollow. Yeah, I'm a trainer of the King Lost. So you you been in the Philly area training fighters for over oh, fifty, 50 years. years. That's right. Much respect to you, baby. Man, start at Joe Frazier gym. Joe Frazier, smoking Joe. Right, smoking Joe. I, I passed smoking Joe Frazier one day in Philly driving. He was on the highway, had the hat on everything, with the belt buckle around the joint. Many years ago, brother. Yeah, that's right, many years. That's in peace to Joe. He trained the legendary Jeff Gant. Jeff Gant, wow. So this, this is my man, Fred Jenkins. He was a big part of bringing David Reed up to the ranks where he was at. Then Al Mitchell took David Reed over after the Olympics and so on and so forth, but it was really my man Hurt, we call him, Fred Jenkins Hurt, Mike Garris from Philly. They had David Reed in the ABC Boxing Gym in North Philly, and they was working with Dave the whole time in Philly before he would go to the America Presents training camp in Denver, Colorado, which is where I met David Reed. So, Fred, what have you been doing? How many fighters you working with now? And tell us about my man Lawson here. Lawson is a real good fighter. He comes in the gym. He's real mature. He ain't one of the kids that you gotta chase around and make him come to the gym. But he, but he, but his coach, Tommy Bush, uh, remember me from the amateurs and the and the pros, and he brought him to the gym, and I helped him out with the kid. But Tommy Bush is his original trainer, in which I got a lot of respect for him because he's been around the game just as long as me. And so we got Dawson ready for this fight. We've been getting him ready for the last six weeks. And the fight came up three weeks ago, and he okayed it. We looked at the guy, and we examined the guy, and Lawson looked at him and said, get the match. And we got the fight. And, that, and, that, and that's the thing about trainers always want to make sure they tell it. The main thing you want to tell your fighter, stay in the gym. You don't have to have a fight on the way. You don't have to have a contract to fight. Stay in the gym, stay ready, because when the phone rings, that's your opportunity. And that's what happened to my man here. I knew Fred Jenkins since so he was fighting. I chose I chose Fred Jenkins to work with me because I got well respect for Fred. He didn't only had uh, Reed. He had Kid Chocolate. He had J Jennings. He had, he had all of what? Uh, Lil Boogaloo Jones. Fred was the first youngest trainer that ever had world champs. I'm telling you. And I respect that. And I chose him to work with him. My man. I work with Fred. That's my man. And now I'm working with Jesse Hart and... And my son Fred Jenkins Jr. Uh -oh. Yeah. I can't wait to see that. Is he fighting tonight? He's fighting. Hopefully, he's on Jesse Hart card in okay. Philly okay. on April 28th. Okay. Uh, the Center in Philly. The Center in Philly. Yeah, and Brian Jennings also was on the card. Yeah. So now, how many how many rounds you fighting tonight, champ? Uh, four. Four rounds. Yeah. What what can your fans expect from you tonight? Good action. Good action. Yeah, as you can see, I come from history. Oh yeah. yeah one thing I do know about these Philly fighters, ain't no punks, man. They bring it, and it's going to be a war. First pro debut. And this is his pro debut, first four-round pro debut. What kind of amateur record did you have? 20, 23 and 1. 23 and 1. Mm -hmm. That's still a good record because you know what? It's all about who the training is, what your skill set is all about. 300, 400 amateur fights don't mean nothing in this sport, baby. You know, when I box, I always tell them, so they ain't fought me. 
Hey, we want to wish uh, Team Lawson a good luck tonight. It's your boy Rick Muhammad from Brawler Sports Media. I got my man from Play to Win Boxing YouTube channel, Trev Monroe in the house, helping me tonight. And we're doing this thing as a team, one brotherhood. Good luck to you cats tonight, man. All right, champ. Coach, much respect to you, baby. You too, my brother. Thank you. Right. What's your name? What's your, what's your name, brother? Coach Hall. Coach Hall. Yeah. You working with my man as well? Yes, sir. ABC. Right. Yep. Good luck to y'all tonight. All right, thank you. you bet. We good? We good here. We got more to come. Stay tuned.